morning guys it feels like i have teenagers who are refusing to get out of bed they just lay here and stare at me until i force them to oh sorry coco i know i'm sorry i'm really sorry i put his collar on so that he would know to get up but guys watch this it's so funny he loves it like he literally lives for it <gasps> hi bub aww ready let's go again aww he just loves it i mean like this is so cute coffee i thought i was gonna go to walk this morning i think i'm gonna go later i'm currently just sitting on the couch i have a podcast on and i'm going to episode prep for next week i'm in la recording all week um this coffee that i just made unbelievable like it's actually a little bit sweet so i probably won't like it after one drink but like i feel like it was pretty good so today i have pilates i have therapy i want to go on another walk i need to finish episode prep i mean get my nails done and i'm going to see elvis tonight so it's gonna be a good day um, tomorrow I have like a tea party thing. Tomorrow this weekend's gonna be fun and then I leave again on Sunday. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just take y'all along for like a week, long weekend of my life. If y'all are new here, subscribe. Also, I finished a book last night. Didn't like it. Let me, let me figure out what it is. I need to post it on KE Book Club. Kristen Higgins, which I actually really liked one of her books. Okay. I read Kristen Higgins Out of the Clear Blue Sky. And that has like 4.5 stars and I did not like it at all. Like I kind of liked one of the storylines, but I kind of hated one of the characters. Um, I loved Pack Up the Moon by her though. Like that book, I'm pretty, if I get kind of confused when I'm thinking back, but it made me like sob. So anyways, Out of the Clear Blue Sky, I like, wasn't a fan. Really wasn't. So anyways, I need to make a book review really quickly. I really am like 70. I look like a mom when I'm walking into Pilates because I have my bag, my workout clothes, my water. Like something about it makes me feel like a middle-aged like housewife, you know? I'm kind of into that vibe. But anyways, off to Pilates. Then I'm getting a smoothie. Then I'm getting, then I'm getting, then I'm going to therapy. Then maybe a walk later. Um, Today's a fun day. These next few days are fun days. I think I might do like a 6 a.m. morning routine tomorrow. Because I've kind of been, like, feeling it and wanting to push myself. Then I could, like, walk the trail, too. And I would be done by, like, 8. That's a beautiful thing. And I think I would really enjoy it. Also recording an entire episode on, like, building routines and stuff. And journaling and manifesting when I'm in LA. And you guys are going to love it. So, anyways. Also, last thing I'm going to say. This set active water bottle. I don't know if they're available for sale. But, like, you got to get one. They're incredible. It is too big for my car, though. The Remini House Live is a perfect size. Um, so, keep that in mind if you're not, like, if you don't want that big of one. But it's just convenient, you know? All right guys, just self tans. Look at me, I had therapy, I went on a walk. I'm having a great day. I'm wearing my new Land Rover Hot Sun Club. In my last vlog I said I could have sworn I got more and that's because I did, I had more stuff come today. But then I put it all away and so now I can't do a haul of it. I'm really sorry about that, but I'm really excited. I just ordered a sweet green for lunch. Um, I need to leave my nails on like an hour and a half. So I'm gonna just sit put on a podcast i've been listening still to the twilight effect podcast that series has had such a hold on me since literally the fifth grade how old were y'all when you read twilight you know when you're just in like a great mood that's what i'm in today getting my nails done going to see alice having a salad i mean it's a really good time i was thinking about getting my new rug out today i just don't think that's my calling today i don't think that that's not like hugging at my heart so i won't be doing that um but i will be eating my salad in peace okay sweet green you gotta get the harvest bowl so good i even got i was really hungry so i got the sweet potato side with the honey mustard like oh my god it's incredible here is my fit to go get my nails done and go see elvis i'm so excited i haven't gone and seen a movie in so long my glasses are amazon i'm wearing the new land rover Paxson club normal bag and then sue these my nails right now guys like they're really really bad obviously to self tan so like don't mind my hands right now this will wash off and be chill by tomorrow um anyways i'm like so comfortable right now i love today i really do in the best nail salon ever stay thomas adore it's so calming here look at lauren's incredible outfit you've never looked better <laughs> okay i'm gonna get a 73 wherever that is 
It's so calm. Oh yeah, that one's really cute. No, do this one. All right, we're at Target now. <gasps> Maybe I'll get Smart Sweets. Guys, this. Oh. No, th no way. Do they have Whoppers? Oh. <laughs> Uh, they don't have we're going to Alamo and they have like no candy so we had to stop here smart sweets whoppers oh There's no Coke icy which is gonna make me cry We came all the way here for milk duds. What, what does the world have against milk duds? We go to CVS we are gonna miss the movie just getting home from Elvis. It was really good um, I think Austin Butler is so hot also guys I just like couldn't watch the movie the same after seeing all of the like Elvis TikToks. Anyways, it was great. I also like literally never go to the movies. So it was fun. It was also fun to like change up my routine on a weeknight, you know? It is 10 p.m. I'm getting home. That's very late for me. And I think I'm going to read. Oh, Taylor Jenkins Reid sent me, they sent me her new book that's not out yet. So I want to start that. And then I have a really early morning. So I'm going to get to bed. As soon as possible. I've also been listening to Taylor Swift to pretend that it is fall. I'm really looking forward to the fall time. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a good weekend and a good day tomorrow. I have like a tea party thing, so I'll take you guys with. Good morning, guys. It is 5:30 a.m. I'm gonna leave for Pilates soon. I woke up somehow not hating my life. Here's the one of the other pieces that I got. Delivery later. This stuff is so soft. I actually don't even know why I'm putting a crew neck on because it's still gonna be like 100 degrees. I'm gonna like, take my morning routine, guys. Always check on your arm first. I just shower this morning though. Oh wow. I look like so freckly because my tanner is messed up right now on my face. Like I look like I'm in the parent trap. I'm gonna do love it as a kid. Wow. This ice roller just amazing things for you anyways i'm gonna make a little coffee and then head out to pilates i'm taking from taylor this morning and then after that i already have my headphones charged for a nice walk at katie Cheryl. i mean oh i just love this i'm hoping when i'm back i'm gonna get back to doing this routine probably like three days a week minimum but it's not that bad like if i just wake up go to bed at 10 and i wake up at 5 30 that's really actually not the worst thing ever and it really gets your day going and you feel so good by the time the day starts so we'll see but that is the goal all right i have my eye patches on that keep falling just realized i left my headphones at home so that's not good it's 5 50. i'm gonna go into pilates i love waking up early guys i no, I did the morning routine one time, but like, listen, I love it. I miss doing this. So, also love the nails. They're just very long, but I like them. All right, y'all, back from my beautiful morning. Guys, I have to be honest, I need to go to do that every day. I need to go back, 6 a.m. Pilates, 7 a.m. trail, get coffee, back to the house, shower, get ready. Like, this is going to be my new morning routine. I really just need to switch it up. And it's really not even that hard to get up before. Wake up at 5.30, put your clothes on, leave. Like, it really was a dream. I'm not kidding, I'm in the best mood. So I'm actually gonna re-record my solo podcast episode because I've just been thinking about some other things that I feel like I left out. I'm recording a whole, I already did a whole episode on being independent and like living your nice like solo single life. Um, and I recorded it, I sent it in and I just think it could be better. So I'm gonna re-record that today. Um, in a few hours I need to leave for tea. I have tea with a brand at the Crescent, which I'm really excited for. And then tonight we're doing our normal HPV and then we're going to Casablanca for karaoke, they gave me a karaoke room, which I'm really excited about. So, need to go shower, wash my hair, do give myself a blowout, do the whole ordeal. Um, if you guys had an unlimited amount of money, what would you spend it on? I would spend it on someone doing my hair every day. Like, I hate doing my hair. I hope everyone thought me a great day. Just in such a good mood this vlog. It's, it's really refreshing. 
because you know it wasn't a good move before so all right just give myself a blowout wash my hair dried it that's just like the most tedious process i like when things are kind of like looped like curving in curled in okay um, but anyways, I'm not the best at it. I did this and like I know it's gonna fall So I'm trying to get better Overall, I mean like obviously this is annoying. I wish this was matching I curled everything inwards except for my like kind of like bang pieces And here we are. So now it is time to record my solo. It's 9 30. I'm loving today Drinking my coffee. I'm actually like really hungry. Egg bites just like don't fill you up but they're so good. Like the kale egg bites are incredible. <laughs> when I tried to make egg bites, guys, it was not good. It was not okay. How do you, does anyone have any good tips? I really did try, I'm gonna be honest, but it was really embarrassing. Okay, I'm really glad I decided to, ooh, to re-record that episode because I think the second time around, it was so much better talking all about living your best single, solo, independent life working on your relationship with yourself, being your own best friend. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. It's an episode that I wish I would have had a while ago. So anyways, um, I need to leave in 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna submit this really quickly and then I need to change. I'm gonna do like light makeup. I'm going to a tea party. I love all my Land Rover stuff. Like this is literally my favorite collection that's ever happened. Hey right, y'all, I've been on this Taylor Swift kick. I decided to change my bag into this Riley London bag. That's the event that I'm going to. Um, and I'm off. It's a tea party at the Crescent. I'll be gone for like two hours. And then hopefully when I get back, we will be setting up my rug, which is what I really need to do. My makeup is like, okay. I don't know. It's like kind of been sitting weird. My sister's like so good at makeup. And I'm like, where did you learn that from? Like, I need to just get better. I kind of want to buy like one of someone's courses online to just like look like I got my makeup done by a makeup artist at all times. Like that's what sucks once you start using a makeup artist, then you're like, this just is not the same. So anyways, I'm um, wearing this dress from Princess Polly and then these heels are LPA. I got them from Revolve. I'll link them below. They're the best heel ever. They're so comfortable. They're actually really high. I don't know like how far back I need to be. Um, I have them in black too. I have them pink and I need them, but they are the most comfortable shoe ever. We cannot recommend these enough. I'm such a baby when it comes to heels, and I'm becoming a heels girl, and these are the best. So I'll link them below. Um, but yeah, I'm heading off. I'll see you guys there. I'm at high tea at the Crescent. It's so cute in this beautiful room. There's cute little like, there's Sarah Rose, little ice pops things, popsicles, whatever. Like literally the cutest thing ever for Radley London. Perfect. Uh, have jasmine green tea or a whiskey? Thank you. It was really cute and I have my new rug. Um, this is not sponsored, but I got a rug from Ruggable. Um, I came back, <laughs> guys, I don't know what's happening. Well, we'll see if I like it. I'm just like consistently in the middle of redoing this house. I've been in the middle of redoing this house since I moved in two years ago. So we're gonna see next time. I'm just gonna like seriously sit down and just, th actually when I first moved in, I really did have a cohesive look and now I'm just like in the middle of and change the chairs, you know, it takes forever, okay? And like, I will probably move in two years and who knows if it's even gonna be done then. So I'm gonna unbox this. The thing about Ruggable rugs is they're great because you can wash them, but I have to like match it up perfectly. So I was gonna have my dad help with this, but he is not on my schedule today. So unfortunately, I will be doing this alone because I am impatient and I'm not gonna wait for him. So I need to set it up, but this is the actual rug and I love it. It's gonna look so good with that and then getting everything together, different pillows and stuff. Um, but the dogs are not moving. I need to flip this and they're just ignoring me. So awesome. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, my dad, I just saw he arrived. He didn't even tell me he was coming after I literally just finished this. I can see him outside. You've got to be joking. I don't even need that anymore. Oh, man. Maybe he can get frustrated. All right, finally out of the rug. My dad and I just like sat on the couch and talked for like an hour, but it looks so much better. I obviously still need to rearrange things. This bag is driving me insane. It's my cousin's. Um, still need to fix some stuff, but with this, like this ties in more of the like cooler tones, but I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get warmer tone like uh, drapes. These are obviously chocolate brown, so I'm just doing again back to like I don't know, browns, creams, black. I don't know, guys. I mean, I do know, like, it is gonna be fine, but I'm kind of in a rush right now, so I don't know why I'm acting like I have no idea what's going on. Anyways, I'm going to get ready. Um, we're going out tonight. Well, we're not, I don't know, I actually know if we're going out tonight, but but we are doing dinner at Highland Park Village, like normal. I'm craving my Friday Night Mark on our bar, my go-to. And then we're gonna go to Monkey Bar, we're gonna go to Casablanca for some karaoke, like, it's gonna be a good night. So anyways, I need to get ready because I'm leaving in like 40 minutes. All right, guys, I'm getting ready. I'm gonna set you up right there. I'm pretty much ready. I got ready pretty quick. Oh my God, those are my shoes. I'm literally falling. So it's hot out, like very hot. This top isn't hot. It's honestly the shorts. Part of me is like, should I just wear the pants? It's a hot, these tops are 100% cotton, so they're really like lightweight. They're just good quality. So it's not like super miserable, but here, let me show you this closet. Oh my God, I'm falling in these shoes. Like. I think it's because I have oil on the floor, but this is my Friday night look. Really chill, hair down. Um, I accidentally put dark eyeshadow on. It was actually an accident. I grabbed the wrong thing and then it was too late. So that's what we have today. Um, and here's the look, but I'm like, I'm actually just gonna die. So I just can't tell like what I wanna do. Okay, I changed. Um, I'm wearing this dress from Princess Polly and then my bag, um, and then these shoes are revolved. They're like so cute and really just perfect. But I thought it was like a night out, like dress with the girls kind of vibe. And also I hate denim shorts. Like I love the top that I was wearing, but I hate denim shorts. And I need some that are like actually legitimately baggy. I don't buy them, I guess, if they're baggy, but like, like, you know what I mean? Like the Bermuda almost shorts that are really baggy. Like where do I get those? So. Anyways, this is the vibe and the look for tonight. I'll probably be vlogging on my phone. Let me see if I can fit this. I'm gonna bring this card game to dinner because I make my friends um, open up about their lives by playing card games. So let's see what I have here. Got a lot of stuff. I don't need my keys. Sunglasses, lip products, obviously. This, yeah, I feel like my um, vlog camera might be able to fit. We'll see. Okay, updates to come. You guys will, you'll see.
Good morning, guys. I'm slightly hungover. It is 10.30. I was gonna go to spin class today, um, but then they gave us free shots at Casablanca, and it was a wash. It was a complete wash. There was no spin. I actually probably could have gone to spin. I just, like, am so terrified of going and working out hungover. Anyways, Casablanca last night was so much fun. Honestly, I think that was, like, the most fun thing I've done in Dallas in general. Even our guy friends who ended up meeting up with us after we're like, thank you, like, so much. Like, the, and not that they're not, they're very nice people, but, like, the guys had so much fun. And they're just, like, a harder group of people to please. And I really didn't expect them to get so into it. And even they loved it. Like, it was so much fun. So, basically, we had that, like, private room, as you saw. They gave us drinks. You just, like, pressed a button to get the server to come in. And everyone was so nice. And it was just like so much fun. I need to go back there. I had the best time. Like I need to go there always. Like literally all the time. For every single birthday. For every single just like random Friday night. For Like I'm not kidding guys. If you live in Dallas, you have to go to Casablanca. Because it was the coolest place ever. And it's also on Bishop Lane. You can have like a whole night over there. You can go to Tribal. Which actually, I haven't even been to Tribal for dinner. I think they're actually open for dinner. Which is my favorite like coffee shop and just cafe. Um, Paradiso is right there. Really good um, restaurant. I love their brunch. I'm not even a brunch girl. Well, I like brunch food, but I don't go out to brunch often. So anyways, today is gonna be a pool day. Um, the girls are going over. We're all going to my dad's house and we're gonna use his pool. And I think we're gonna grill a little bit. It's gonna be a good day. I leave for LA tomorrow and I have yet to pack. I just got my email to check in and I was like, oh, I forgot I was doing that tomorrow. I'm gone for the week, so eventually I'm gonna have to do that. So anyways, I'm gonna edit my TikToks. I edit my TikToks, guys, on Final Cut Pro. It's a little bit embarrassing, it is. But I'm just like a YouTube girl through and through. It's so much easier to edit on Final Cut Pro than it is to edit on other things, so. Just store dash some breakfast, store dash code below for um, probably a free meal, so you should go use that link. But once all this happens, I'm starting to feel better, and I want to take Fitz to go swimming, but I don't want I don't want him to be like a mess after, you know? And then like leave him, we'll see. All right guys, it's one and I'm about to head over to the pool. I was just editing this morning. Um, I wanted to do a full, this isn't like a formal, but I wanted to do a road skincare review because I got it and I've been using it and I like, okay, I just got something in my eye. Wow. Okay, so I have, what is it? The peptide glaze and then the moisturizer and I have been loving them. Like someone did say, I saw someone say that they're small and maybe that's why she was able to get the price down so much. And now I'm noticing, I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna go through these really quickly. They are really inexpensive, but that is annoying. Um, anyways, I'm loving it. I do like the like, lip treatment. I have a lip mask on right now, but it's good. Like, I don't think it's like the best one ever, but it's still really good. Like, it's fine. Hair I actually really love. So, a little update on that. I'm putting on sunscreen right now. The Super Goop um, Glow Screen. I have worn this every day for years, but this is the one that's like the bronze glow. So, it gives me like a little bit of color. It's also really nice when the rest of my body is tan and my face isn't because I have like self tan or something. And then I'm able to put that on and then it matches without like putting makeup on because like that's honestly my worst nightmare. So anyways, I'm packing my um, beach pool bag right now. Sunscreen. My brush. Um, sunscreen again. More sunscreen. Glow oil. That's also sunscreen. I'm going to try this Super Goop Glow Oil today with an SPF of 50 and see how I like it. I'm also bringing this. I'm the mom of the group today. And my face sunscreen. I'm trying to bring um, my, uh, what am I trying to say? I need to get Starbucks before going. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, I wonder, my Kindle's being weird. That's what I was gonna say. Also, I'm currently wearing everything of mine, the Okine top, and then I'm wearing my wedding housewife so short, so you can't even see. So anyways, I need to leave, because I told everyone I was, we were gonna start two hours ago, and uh, I've just been very slow today. I had no interest in moving. All right, I stopped and I got a refresher. What a good call. I'm about to head in. It is literally 106 degrees right now. So, love that. Guys, we've arrived. We're back. I'm back in the kitchen. Look at all the fun boy floats that fun boy sent. I had them, I put them at my dad's house because he has the pool. And first off, that blue one I think is actually lake size. So, um, 
I didn't realize that they sent so many. Anyways, it's beautiful. We're gonna grill. I got Starbucks, we have some drinks, but I mean, I'm, I'm not drinking right now. So we'll see about that. We put things back. Oh yeah, there's a lot of space in this thing. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be smaller, but anyways, I'm literally wearing Red Wedding Housewife Stuffy shorts with the Okine top and the Okine tote back. So, uh, you know, I'll be jumping in the water literally as soon as possible. I didn't even bring my Kindle today. It's crazy. I'm becoming a little bit of a grill master. Look at that, it's crazy. Oh. All right, guys, it's been real. Um, I always have to be I was about to say, you're gonna keep that going. <laughs> yeah, we were watching BFS. Tess is here. We're about to go to our friend's house. I just changed. Great day at the pool. Um, Coco. I put my foot down. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Here's the outfit. I just did laundry, so I leave in the morning and I haven't packed yet. So I'll get around to that. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one with my week in my life in LA. I work my ass off to get yeah. here just for my husband to stand next to me and get acknowledged. <laughs> like, come on. And he, it's not his fault. He feels like terrible about those situations. Um, but that's just how the world is. 